What's going on, everyone? This is your boy at the Gamer. We are <laughs> back with some well. more Trails Through Daybreak. So I just went through, um, going through the cave here a few times and kind of, uh, just doing some fights and everything and, uh, just, you know, beefing my people up a little bit. I ended up making some new things and stuff. Um, I don't think you really too much care to see all of it, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and head back. Hope y'all are doing well. All right, uh, let's see what this guy has to say now. There are many interesting sights to see in Longport, such as the Erota Cave. It's my job to guide people who want to go to those places, as well as view, view them away from areas they shouldn't enter. Okay. So we ended up getting a nice little chunk of money. I'm going to, no need to be shy now. go around here again. really quick to see what I didn't get. I think, just bear with me really quick. I'm gonna try to make this really as quick as possible. Oh, did you hurt something? Do you know what you want? Uh, yeah, this is like it was just a place to buy stuff. I still can't believe these things are a thousand dollars, man. They're reviving uh, bombs, and they're so hard to come by. Man, it's like I, I think I'm gonna have to end up buying some because, like, I, I can't. It's so hard to get items in this game. It's not like, um, I hope to see you again. The older games where you could just kind of depend on, like, kind of lean on your courts and stuff. And then just kind of, you know, every now and then you may, depending on, you know, how much money you have, just laying money around like that. This must be the and just take your time looking. Seeing got you. that. So I got everything at you most of these places. As as like. Uh, yep, got Thank that. You. Um. Hello there. I don't think I need to trade anything in right now. Uh, well, hold up. As a matter of fact, hello there. Oh, I went ahead and made one of the green pendulums. That's what it was. Come again. Um, trying to think here. Oh, good stuff. Take as long as you need. It's the health food guy. I'll be waiting for you. So Kim, all right. So that's them in this part. Definitely think I took care of the theater thing. But I'll double check just to be on the safe side. Hello. My noodles are the best. What do you need? Yep. There you go. Thanks. You just want to make sure you at least Dave, you've come to the right place. Yeah, find as one always. of these things to get the gourmet points for it. That's you buy as many as you want, but what do you have today? Uh, yeah. Thanks for I coming. I got that. He's so hot. Right, let's head over to Newtown. Uh, check the well, vending machine. Got those. Just double checking, double checking. There's a new movie. Market store. Ah, welcome. Okay. I hope to see you again. Got the cookie from her. Okay, I got that. Thanks for coming. I know I need to get there. Shoes from here. Hmm. Yeah, it does allow them to be able to move better. Come again. 
Hello there. Come again. Hello there. Um, Come again. There's a gift. Do you that, know what you want? Did I get the gift already? I'm just not sure. I hope to see you again. You'll never believe what happened. See, so all those stores, and then these three over here. You there? Well, some pasta sound. So yeah, so the chick what here. What can I do for you? I bought the other two things. Yep. See you again. Got all her stuff. I think I might have got everybody. Hey there. What'll it be? See ya. Got him too. And one more right Looking here. Looking for something to drink? Really? What'll you have today? Ah, okay. Didn't get that one. All Thanks right. for coming. All right. I think we're good. And I actually got money to spare. Alright. So we're good. The only thing we need to do now is head to um, this other district. That about does it. Might be time to go investigate that stall at the docks. Okay, I'm gonna make a save here. So... That way, if I did miss something, I can go back. All right, call the main story to advance. Whoa, look at all these boats. Judging by their makes, I imagine this is a privately owned pier. Do you think we'll find the stall here? Probably. There's a big old naval wharf on the east side of town. Rather than hang out there, shady folks tend to end up in places like this. Sometimes you'll even find folk peddling black market goods Oh man, that doesn't care about nowhere. Alright, <laughs> store straight from the Navy. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I see. If that kind of trading is possible here, I wonder if AUA has less oversight here as well. Maybe that means we'll find what we're looking for. Only one way to find out. I've got a hunch where the stall might be. We should go straight there. Sun's gonna go down soon. <laughs> they have my boy eyes. What the hell is he over there doing? Come on down. I got great stuff for great prices. What about you, my fine hard working friend? <laughs> this pristine Opal radio comes straight from the Navy and it's a real bargain. Maybe people actually buy your junk if you didn't break after a couple of weeks. <laughs> hey now, sure some of my customers have been unlucky, but it's not uh, like all my wares go bad. I mean, come on, just look at this thing. Brands make it do. Forget it already. Besides, the wife will have a conniption if I come home with your crap in hand. <laughs> Hold on, at least take a look at all these rare items. Don't mind if I do. Well, well, finally a man with a discerning eye. What can I do for you? As it happens, I've been browsing the stalls all over town, but they're, just, they're all just selling the same old stuff you find anywhere. I was hoping to find something a bit more special, if you know what I mean. Then you come to the right place, my friend. My wares are the wares of the rare. You won't find variety like this anywhere else. So what sort of items are you interested in? 
seen anything that looks like this. Hmm, isn't that... This must be it. I think so too. You wouldn't happen to have one on hand, would you? Uh, sorry, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with whatever that is. Really? I've heard a rumor there was one at the stall around here. Well, about that. Please, if you know anything at all, please tell us. But, miss. I have a connection to that item. It's precious to me. If you have any information at all, I'll make sure you're duly rewarded. Won't you please help us? Uh, she's really knocked him off guard. No kidding. Wasn't expecting her to <laughs> bust out the puppy dog guys. But whatever works, I guess. She does have that, like, help me face. <laughs> and it's like you just feel compelled to help her. After hearing her cry for help, we couldn't leave her out to dry. We've been doing all we can to help her get back what's right for hers. Hell, the little one here even flew from... Sorry about that. <coughs> the little one here <coughs> even flew from Central East to help investigate. She said she, huh? <laughs> That's right. Arusha teaches us to never ignore someone in need. Fairy. I don't know about you, but I feel like a real asshole if I sat by and did nothing knowing that these kids are doing all they can. So what do you say? Want to do a good deed in the name of the he Heavenly Mother? There he goes again. Sheesh. Talk about landing on real thick. Fine, I'll tell you what I know. I had an item that looked just like that in the picture until just recently. The thing is, if I were you, I'd give it up. But why? You must have sold it to someone else, right? Point us in that direction and we can have it with them ourselves. If only we were that simple. You guys ever heard of the Messeldom Trading Company? Is it Messeldom? Messel... Afraid not. I take it they're from the port uh, city up north? Yeah, but if you ever meet someone saying they work for that company, haul ass in the opposite direction. A couple of weeks ago or so, a source of mine gave me the thing you're looking for and asked me to sell it off. Somehow, it caught the eye of some nasty folk who claimed to work for that company. Before I knew it, not only did they come after the device, but they made off with all my best stuff without paying a single mirror. I tried to stop them, but they just beat the ever-loving crap out of me. The wound still haven't fully healed. That's awful. I can't believe them. Guess you can't take this case to the cops or the guild, uh, given the kind of stuff that you sell here either. Even if I, you could, uh, you would not have consideration from your source, am I right? You're a sharp one. They said to Jesus Christ! Come on, man! God, dog! They said to sell it all quietly for cheap and never speak a word of it ever again. But honest to, honest to, honest to adios, that's all I know. Dude, these yawns hitting me out of nowhere. <laughs> they're clearly more... They're, yeah, there's clearly more to this than these guy. Alright, Prime. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> We'll have to leave it here for today. Huh? Is this a party or what? Real rude of you not to invite us, old man. Uh, it's them. If you value your lives, run. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, bail fast as shit. You letting them go then? That means we're the ones they want. I was wondering how long it take up till those employees came to greet us. So this is the fixer poking around our business, eh? Didn't hear he uh, didn't hear he had some sweet arm candy with him though. Lucky asshole. Ignoring the runt, 
I wouldn't mind taking Blondie for a spin, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> These dudes talking about going to jail. <laughs> the run. She got pissed off. Can I hurt them? <laughs> what a great line. <laughs> she just is like, step forward. Like, can I hurt them? Like, please, just let me do it. Do what you want. Nothing too extreme, though. Understood. I'm not so sure about this. I got some... <laughs> Boy, look, this dude just straight pulled out a gun like... Man. <laughs> Got some fire in those eyes, shorty. I've got a lot of steam let off thanks to those local bastards. You're just the punching bag I've been looking for. Who wants to beat up on a 13 year old? Five hostiles confirmed. Commencing dismemberment. Damn. <laughs> dismemberment is the definition of extreme. She said com oh, let's play. Let's commencing dismemberment. My move now. All right. Uh, There's a shark boost to get the upper hand. Um. What's the matter? Yeah. Scared? Nah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna let her hurt y'all. Think fast. Take this. <laughs> yeah, come on up. Summer. Come on up together like that. Damn. Do your worst. Hey, Energy I'll, tell you that. I'll round them up and scatter them. Activating oh, skill. Give me power. <laughs> You're finished. Take me. Boost gauge limit increased. You son of a me. A chance. Yeah. Yeah, she hurt them pretty bad. Pull out all the um, stuff. Eh. Thanks, pal. This is it. Ah, he healed himself. Smart man. You're open. Give them your all. Son of a. They're out of there. She said she wanted to hurt him, so I figured I'd let her do it. The hell? Even the chicks are strong. Can't afford to lose now. Quick, grab the blonde one as a hostage. Are you losers for real? You get whipped and you still won't get the hell out of my town? There he is. Hey, it's him! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you know it's bad when the dude is the gangster is like, ah, oh, shit. There he is. Aaron Way. That vigilante from the Eastern Quarter. That's our boy. Go get him. That must be him. It's Aaron. Right on cue. He did that to stuff him out. <gasps> Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> Seriously, like I'd let you run away now. Ooh. <laughs> Sam Damn. Wong! Got it! I've been waiting for this! Bro got some lackeys? Let me stop. We got sidekicks, okay. <laughs> Look at him go! Alright. I, I like I like this Doing guy. This proud, one butt kicking at a time. He got them in one fell swoop. He's a badass. Sweep too. Guess the stories didn't quite do him justice. I take it you're the guy Sal hired. Pretty cool jacket too. I'd love to give you a proper Longport welcome, but well. Watch out! <laughs> Let me guess, Jaeger brat. Not bad, small fry, but my beef is with the old fart behind you. These swords are dope. Is that a dragon on the side of him? I'm a huge fan of these swords. Come on, man. I'm only 24.
You really that bent out of shape about outsiders butting in? Ding ding! We have a winner! If Heiyue's gonna let things go to shit, then it's up to us to handle things around here. Hmm. And if I can't trust Heiyue, then I sure as hell can't trust their dog either! Alright. I'll take you on! Try not to disappoint me. Well, didn't think that we would have to fight the guy. But okay. Um. Oh shit! I shouldn't have boosted on that. Here goes. Full boost. Go all activating skill. Ooh. Bring it on. Got some moves. Uh. Go all out. Hit me. I dare you. Think fast. <laughs> You'll pay for that. Yeah, boy, boy, I got some moves, man. What's wrong? That all you got? Uh. There. Bring it on! Activating Aerial Buster! Have some of this! Got yes. the number! Oh, oh, finally! Stubborn bastard! Alright. The moves, Aaron's man. Strong, but that guy in blue's no pushover. Keep it up. That guy's a beast. Aaron is a beast. Isn't that enough already? <laughs> no way I'm gonna give up now. Not until this dude is begging at my feet for mercy. Who's going to win? It's hard to say. They're evenly matched. Ooh. Not too shabby, but. It's about time I wrap this up. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's going down. That's quite enough. Ah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Ever the badass. She knocked both they shit out of hands. Oh my god! So you how of much of a badass she is. To be you. Elaine, man. Where did she come from? I keep wondering: is she gonna be a party member, or is she just like that? That person that's close, or is she works with the group sometimes? Kind of like how. Um, uh, Claire was in the uh, Cold Steel games. It's that bracer from before. Occasionally, like she joined the party, like in some parts, but <gasps> is that Beauty's blade? Yeah, the famous A rank bracer. But what's she doing here? You gotta be kidding me! Holy crap! I'll have to ask you all to refrain from fighting in public spaces. Do I make uh. myself clear? Don't let that pretty face fool you. She mopped the floor with a bunch of us back home. <laughs> Your boy admitted that out loud for no reason at all? I don't care. I ain't gonna let some lady talk down to me. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the last of us! <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> didn't think I'd be running into a celeb today. So one's gold and one's silver. I didn't notice that. Look here. Do what you want with Pops over there. But those punks are our problem. <laughs> you call them Pops. Doubt the guild wants to stick their nose in Heiyue's business. Am I right? Normally, yes. But so long as you're ordinary citizens, it is our duty as bracers to ensure your safety. 
Though judging by your swordsmanship earlier, <laughs> I don't imagine you'll be needing our protection. Glad to hear it. Keep the guild out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Same goes for you guys. I, I like his demeanor. I get the point in what he's trying to do, but at the same time, he's very, like, uh, what's the word I want to say? A little hard-headed, not really listening Go to anything. Go dance in the Lou family's palm for a while, see the sights, and then get the hell out of my town. But, dude definitely, uh, I can see why people like him. That kid's even more handful than I was expecting. Hello, pot. I'm Kettle. <laughs> the way you broke up that fight was amazing. Sorry we ended up causing you trouble. Don't worry. It's all part of the job. As is making sure everyday people aren't dragged into dangerous situations. <laughs> I hear you, all right. Anyway, since we're here, why don't we go grab a bite? I did not expect her to show up here at all. Oh. Game damn sure is beautiful though. What a few. Oh man, I didn't even break like the news. Today they showed that they are remaking the first Trails in the Sky. And man, I am, I like, damn near like, it was, I was in super hype mode. I was walking around the house like, yes, yes. Cause like, I, I want to go back and play the old Sky games. I may still do it and it's old fashioned. Um, I don't know if I'll get to it though. Just for the simple fact that, um, like I may do it after whatever is coming. If it comes out early 2025, then I probably won't get a chance to do the older, the older games with the sprite characters. Cause I want to see if they're going to remake all of them. That way I can have like all the, the remade things on here, but who knows? Maybe if the success of the first one is big, maybe they'll, you know, choose to go forward with doing all of them. Maybe even do the uh, Crossville games as well. But I still want to complete uh, complete the whole thing on here. It's just that I, there's so much, so many new things that's coming out. Um, you know, two K is coming around again. I didn't even get to finish my last two K, and I do apologize for that. My last two K run, I always try to at least do like a run through through the championship, but I had to apologize for that. I got uh, two new jobs, and I've just been so busy i've been having only really time for my single players and just been trying to get through all of my stuff i gotta go back and beat but it's a lot so <laughs> i didn't get to even do that and it's just it's that time we really, time just passing quick man and all of it came around again but i cannot wait to play that game man i can't it looks so good too what a view with a skyline like this it's no wonder people call this a dazzling city Sorry, I'm getting back to it. <laughs> Definitely one of the places finding uh the places find best features, I'm sorry. No disagreement here. Please enjoy your meal. Well, ain't you the VIP? Not every day the head chef comes out to greet the guests themselves. I suppose. A while back I helped this restaurant out of some trouble. They've been treating me like royalty, royal, yeah, royalty ever since. And I do have to apologize if I sound like I have a lisp, uh, a little bit of a lisp going on day. I accidentally bit my tongue earlier when I was training, and uh, yeah, uh, it was not, it was not good. It's uh, so I've been kind of, it's it's kind of like I'm trying to like it hurts right now, so I'm trying to kind of speak around it. All right, it's been surprisingly convenient to come here since this establishment distances itself for the uh, Hayway. Damn, I was just joking, but you really are Miss Popular. So not every business in Longport aligns with Hayway then. Correct. There are many other companies invested in this city after all. 
People often use this restaurant as neutral ground to discuss business. Interestingly, the uh, Eastern food here is more akin to Long Eyes cuisine than that of Longport. Eastern is a rather broad term, I suppose. So, um, <laughs> let's shelve the table talk for now. We wouldn't want the food getting cold, especially not a meal as lovely as this. Yay, time to dig in. She was like, I'm hungry as shit. Y'all have been doing all this talking. <laughs> It really is delicious, isn't it? Wouldn't shock me if the chef here trained under the best in the biz back in Long Life. Guess we should be thanking the famous Beauty's Blade for the hookup. You can stop that any time, thank you. It's almost like she's ashamed of it. It's like, you're popular. It's okay. Besides, I'm sure your client would be more than happy to prepare my reservation if you only ask. I mean, any reservation, if you only ask. Perhaps a fine meal at Kowloon's Hotel's restaurant would do. On to us already, huh? It doesn't quite sit well with me that you have connections like this. But, given the fact that they never come to us, you're the right man for the job. Expectations ain't that high, really. We're just holding down the fort until Sal give us, get, gets back. I assume this much. So I'm not sure the White Orchid Dragon will be quite as successful securing the help he's after. While that person hasn't left it behind entirely, they seem hesitant to continue the family business. Damn, you know her? I could ask the same of you. This person they keep mentioning must be very well connected. Aren't you going to finish your food, Agnes? I mean, Agnes? I keep saying Agnes. Of course. I just wanted to say that I'm glad you're here, Elaine. Not just because you saved us earlier, but for the peace of Longport in general. I appreciate the thought, but don't set your expectations too high. The government's tactically, uh, tactically given Heiyue complete freedom to run the city as they please. I can step in when the guild code allows, but at the end of the day, the people of the Eastern Quarter are loyal to Heiyue. Our branch here in Longport serves as an implied deterrent, deterrent, nothing more. That will figure, and that's why it's so small, too. I see. Yet Calvert's favorite bracer made it her way out here regardless. It's about Almada, yeah? Exactly. Ordinarily, the guild only intervenes when civilian well-being is uh, directly threatened. There are cases where we can act preemptively, but people know where our line is and how to avoid crossing it. I've heard the warriors of my court talk about that before. Conflicted as I am about a girl your age saying that, I'll put it aside for now. All was as usual to, until a few years ago when a new organization demonstrated a total disregard for that line. I'm sure you can guess who by now. Almada. Until recently, Heiyue was the undisputed leader of Calvert's criminal underbelly. Almada was just one of the many mid-sized non-eastern mafias. However, things began to take change eight years ago when their former leader Enrique made a critical mistake. I imagine you heard all this in far greater detail from some of your friends, though. Bits and pieces. It's hearsay, anyway. Almada's underboss at the time took it upon himself to purge Enrique and seize control of the organization. His name was Gerard Dantes. Why does that name sound familiar? Hmm, so that's what happened. Only ever heard his name, but the guy's gotta be pretty crazy, right? He certainly proved himself capable. Almada's standing, um, I'm sorry. Almada's standing has skyrocketed in years since he took control. His charisma is enough to bring even the most hardened criminals into his fold. As for as ex and for as exceptionally strong as his sword arm is, it's his relentless devotion to his cause that is truly terrifying. 
Hold up. Have you met this guy or something? I have. He didn't identify himself, and I couldn't quite see see him because of his act of camouflage. But I have no doubts that it was him. So what she's talking about, um, they mentioned this in, um, it's been a while since I brought it up. But at the end of Reverie, there's a story that connects Reverie to this game and they speak about Elaine. And there's this mission she was on, on that game. And I went over the story. I just forget the name of it and everything. It's just been, a, it's been a while since I've uh, talked about it. But I do remember she was after this, uh, uh, after this guy, and like she ended up coming like in, co in contact with him, but couldn't like really see him and everything like that. And it, that's what she's speaking of here. Uh, if I had only uh, been able to apprehend him then. I could have prevented all that Armada stun here. I didn't know he was connected to Armada and all that, but I do I do remember her bringing this up. But I was utterly powerless against him. Even just thinking of that fight sent a chill down my spine. For real? But he had this camouflage thing on and she couldn't see and um but she tried like fighting. It it was it just didn't go her way. And that's when she like started to have like doubts and stuff like that about herself and you know then she mentioned uh van i uh, wish i was exaggerating the guild and the police have been looking into our model i suspect aua the cid and other organizations are likely doing the same however every attempt to probe our model with undercover agents has ended in failure many bracers and police officers have lost their lives oh dear that's not good. What we do know is that Melchior, the member you met, is not Almada's only executive. It's highly likely some are here in Longport as we speak. That dude is trash. I know Van can handle himself, and I can very, very reluctantly accept that you probably can too, Fairy. But you're where I draw the line at, Agnes. Dangerous hardly begins to describe the situation here. Tell me, why is a student at one of the country's most prestigious schools using her precious free time working at for a fixer? Mm. I'm sorry. All I can say is that I have my reasons. My whole life, I've been shackled by circumstances out of my control and forced to give up on many things as a result. However, in meeting Van and Ferry and working together, it feels like my eyes have opened to a whole new world. The more I see, the more I begin to understand what it is I really want out of my life, as well as the kind of person I aspire to be. While that wasn't my initial reason for working with Van, it's the main reason I'm still helping him. Oh, This is well put. <laughs> I look on face like, oh shit. I'm still not convinced that this is your best, this is in your best interest, but it's clear I won't be able to talk you out of this. All right, I'll leave you to your work for now. Please be extremely careful. That goes for you too, Fairy. Of course. You can count on me. Make sure you take the scary lady's words into heart now. <laughs> Would you like to take this outside? <laughs> the, the smile. <laughs> Please spare me. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. Here is your sun bazaar. Oh, hell yeah. Sambazon? What the hell is that? Is it like a bun? What a vibrant yellow. I don't think I've ever seen custard. Oh, it's custard. With quite this shape and color before. Look at it wobble around. You eat it? You can eat it with chopsticks? Huh. What a strange texture. 
It's the perfect level of sweetness. A dessert so slick, it'll slip and slide against the, uh, against the plate, your chopsticks, and even the inside of your mouth. The unique mouthfeel paired with its gentle and subtle flavors is sublime. Revolutionary even. Listen to him talk about food. In fact, it's a bigger game changer than a democratic revolution. I know, right? <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, has he always been like this? He never did. Uh, he never did this when we were kids. <laughs> that bro, dude is a foodie. <laughs> well, a sweet freak anyway. I'm so interested in seeing her fight, man. After finishing their meal and parting ways with Elaine, they return to the Eastern Quarter by bus. It's not just the van, but I really thought that um, when they showed her uh, in the story that that like in between the one I was just speaking on, I really thought that she was going to end up being the main character in this. So I really wanted to see more about her. That story got me so interested in who she is. And then we get here and I, I mean, you've seen her in some scenes, but, you know, I know some things about her, but not the things I want to know. So hopefully we get to learn more. It was still early, but feeling tired from their first day of work, the group chose to return to the hotel. Yeah, not a problem. Be there in a sec. Hmm. Now, ain't that something? Now, why did it glow right there? The flush. Looks like I win this one. Man. Uh, I was feeling lucky tonight, too. You might have had a shot if you hadn't gone all in at the end there. A win's a win, though. You're paying double for your info this time. Yeah, whatever. Your booze fun was looking pretty dry anyway. By the way, I heard Elaine's in town. All oh, right. Forgot you knew her. Yeah, I just got here this evening. What's with the creepy laugh? Ain't it tough being so popular? Everywhere you turn, there's another girl vying for your attention. You have too much to drink, bud. <laughs> like you got at any rate to talk when we all know your old pal is. Nope, we're done talking about this. Talking about what? <laughs> he has it good though. Hell, he, she's a cutie. It's guy stuff. Way too dirty for the likes of. Oh, how? How? I'm shoot. sorry. <laughs> Wait, this guy smells too dirty for the likes of you. <laughs> Why are men like this? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I love how she made sure she stopped to give it to him. <laughs> anyway. What I've got for you is way heavier than the stuff you were looking for this afternoon. Doubt Blondie and the kid are ready for it, to be honest. Why do you think I came alone? Alright, so we got a quest here. Recently a pair of cheating pros have been going around making a mess of Lompor's gambling scene. Normally it'd be my job to do something about it, but there are rumors that A is backing them. It'd be a huge help if you investigated them in my stead. If things go well, I'll deduct your info fee in addition to giving you a reward. Talk to Poisson for the deeps. Alright. Con artist working with A, huh? Yeah, that's a mess, alright. Well, see you around. You going along? That's the plan. I know you're tough and all, but wandering around this town late at night by your lonesome ain't the brightest idea. Now, don't bite my head off. Why not ask Elaine to come along? Like I got any right to do that. I can handle this by myself. I got the best nose in the biz, you know. 
Don't work that sniffer too hard, you hear? Alright. Alright. Let me ask you something. Back on the clock, eh? You certainly are a hard worker. Yeah, well, this request came from Jack, and I don't mind hustling for him. I expect that. If you like, I can help you alone, since I know a little of the cheating duo. I believe their names are Samson and Riching. I hadn't seen them around these parts before last week, but they certainly made an impression. As soon as they walked through my doors, they challenged Hal to a round of gambling. It was a close match, but she lost. They beat Hal? Wow, those guys must have been pros. I'm not so sure. Had Hal been serious from the start, things would have ended differently. <laughs> Look at the dude in the background. <laughs> Bro is back to getting it, man. I don't even know what's playing on the jukebox, but he is like, he is getting that shit. Like, <laughs> is, he, is they playing the Cupid Shuffle? <laughs> what is he doing, man? He is back to getting off. Uh, however, those swindlers pretended to be rookies when they approached her. A loss is a loss, though. Hal blames herself for underestimating their abilities. So they pulled one over on her, huh? Didn't the same thing happen to one of Jack's old buddies? Oh, you heard about that, did you? You're well researched. The person in question is very much ashamed about this. And so, and so is Hal, for that matter. She's really beating herself up over this. I get why, her pride's been wounded. Anyhow, Samson and Richie showed their true colors after the match. As I recall, the two of them ran around yelling, we kick Hal's ass, and I bet Jack's too scared to take us on. I heard they've been re repeating that uh, ad, that, uh, that ad nauseum in the other gambling joints around Longport. That's about all I know on my end. I don't have anything on A, sorry to say. Don't be sorry. You've already been a, been a huge help. I can get, uh, get the rest of what I need on my own. Jack and Hal's reputation are on the line, so I'll get this settled on double. I appreciate that. Best of luck, Vaughn. I keep saying Vaughn, but Van. Thanks. I need to find the people who are in the know about Langport's underground scene and question them. Guess I can check out Dr. Lunkai uh, Lunk Lunkai's place since it's nearby. Alright. Alright, where is Hal at? Can we talk? I overheard your conversation. So you know that I lost then. Well, yeah. This is so humiliating. I'm Jack's partner, so I can't face, lose, uh, lose face like this. I swear I'll get them next time. I won't go down without a fight. Yeah, I know you kicked their asses into next week. You've got this. Thanks. Though, I know I may not get a chance. Earlier, Jack said I'm gonna take off soon so I can drink the night away. But I'm guessing he's going out to confront them with you, right? <clears throat> Since A's involved, you gotta understand where he's coming from. Sure, but he doesn't have to be such a worry wart. You should know I can take care of myself. But fine, I won't be selfish. Sorry for getting you wrapped up in my mess. Hey, don't apologize. You didn't do nothing. I like Hal. She's cool. <laughs> She's funny as shit. She can walk away, asshole. <laughs> I had some serious beef with A, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, got plenty of info to sell. So if you're interested in buying, let me know where to find I mean, you know where to find me. All right, so got to talk to the doc. Can we talk? You wish to know about Samson and Richie. I've been hearing those names a lot as of late. Didn't you have a match with them recently, 
Uh, Shinley, sorry. Yeah, I dabble in gambling every now and then. They challenged me to a match and I couldn't very well say no. Gotcha. How'd it go? Not great. I heard about their match against Hal beforehand. I thought they must have used some underhanded methods to beat her. But I was wrong. They were the real deal. As far as I could tell, they were both just as good as Hal. That's impressive. Well, there goes my plan to take them on by myself. Yeah, chances are you get demolished. And if you think that if you think you can get rough with them, forget it. They've always got bodyguards with them. If you're going to take them on, you need a plan. And a damn good one too. Don't do anything stupid, Arkwright. I know, I know. Thanks you too. Okay. Okay. I think I'll talk to Jiggin next. He's another acquaintance who likes gambling. Maybe he'll know something about all this. I think that's the antique store, dude. Oh, did you hurt something? Uh, what you got? Do you know what you want? Uh, I'm actually gonna buy. I might buy one every time I come up on it. I hope to see you again. Same things are expensive as hell. I really trying to hold on to my dough, man. Need to be shy now. Um, it's a junk shop, dude. Hmm. This must be the eastern quarter. Ah. Uh, Keep wondering, should I get them? I don't really have any of this stuff, so I'll get it. Oh no, I bought those already. Damn it. Oh no, I bought one of each. Did I? When did I do that? I don't know when I did that. Oh. Uh. See you again. Hello there. Come again. Hello there. Come again. The hell am I doing wrong? I'm pressing Let me wrong ask button. You something. All right. Samson and Richie. Yeah, I remember them. They challenged me to do a few rounds of cards. It didn't go so well for me. Those bastards made out like a bandit. Sorry to hear. You knew those guys were cheaters, right? Why'd you take the bait? I enjoy playing with a handicap. Living on the edge is the best way to live. Sadly, I missed my chance to back out, and I paid the price for it. Now I'm stuck drinking cheap booze for the next half year. <laughs> you better not go blabbing to my wife about any of this, you hear me? Don't worry, I ain't a snitch. Wish we come out the floor with these assholes, though. They're raking in cash at everyone's expense. Any idea who else got scammed by the double dealing duo? I heard one of Aaron's boys got done pretty, pretty bad. Don't know the kid's name, but he apparently got burned big time. Word on the street is he's hatching a revenge scheme. Good to know. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Hey, buy me some grade A boost and we'll call it even. <laughs> so, a friend of that brat is a victim in all this too. That may have some info on the cheaters. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but if we're talking payback, maybe we're willing to help. Look at you, working your ass off. Think I could tag along? How about that? Speak of the devil. I got a feeling you're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. This is usually the point where I tell you to hightail it out of my town. But after what happened at the docks, I'll admit you've piqued my curiosity. I want to learn even more about how you do things, so I'll keep, keep uh, I'll be keeping you company for a while. And just so we're clear, I'm not taking no for an answer. So that's how you want to play it, huh? Actually, this works out perfectly for me. 
Fine, but on one condition. I want to question one of your pals. Yeah, I thought he was like, you know, just completely done with them. So he told him about the cheaters. You're chasing those ass clowns. And that's all the more reason for me to join up with you. Thanks to them, Sid's broke as hell. No one, I mean no one messes with my bros. So I'm, I'm so down with getting some payback. Let's go. Hold your horses, my dude. We're not rushing into this. I'm still sniffing for information on those guys. You know anything about them? I got nothing. But Sid might know a thing or two. He's probably hanging around in front of the Eastern Theater. Let's go talk with him. Sorry about that. That's my phone. <laughs> hey, hey, slow down a little, will you? Oh, Yo, thought... <laughs> Aaron, you were amazing back there. I thought something Thanks. bad happened. Hope you come back soon. <laughs> I really thought something bad happened away there. He's like, yeah. I thought, like, what the hell is going on? All right. That? So there is Aaron finally in the party. All right, I'm going to end here. When we come back, we will go ahead and go check out everything with this. Since since we got Aaron in the party, I can go ahead and set him up and everything now. Thank you all for rocking with me. I appreciate everyone checking out the vids as always. This is look, it's going to get pretty interesting right here. New to the channel? Tap that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.